In this video, we are going to import information from a website, from an HTML site, in order to determine what the value of 50 US dollars is in euros using current values, so at whatever time you are running this code. The bonus is to convert both ways, so dollars to euros is what the assignment says, and you can also turn the conversion around to figure out what is 50 euros in US dollars. To accomplish this, you will have to use URL read and a couple other functions that are related to extracting information or finding information from strings and converting those into numbers. So I went to this website, transferwise.com, and I typed in US dollar to euro uh, for $1. This was the result at whatever date that I accessed this website, so it's going to be different now for me, and it might be different uh, when you are running this code. And now what you want to do is download the content, all the HTML from this page, search through that HTML code, and find this information. This is the key piece of information that we need. This will allow us to convert between US dollars and euros. So let's see what the starter code looks like in MATLAB and we'll work from there. So here's our starter code. I'm using the function URL read, which is going to read all of the data from this website that I specify here. And it's going to go into this variable called HTML data. Let's see what this variable HTML data looks like. So I'm going to type whose and then the variable name. And I can see it's a character array, and it's a row uh, with 150,000 characters. And there's also some enter keys in there as well. So I can look at this HTML data printed out into the command window. And you can see there's a lot of code. If you're familiar with HTML code, you should recognize some of these tags. If you're not familiar with HTML code, then it's OK. The point is that this is all the text that makes up a website. So what do we do? This is a huge amount of text. Well, you have to spend a little bit of time to look through all of this text and figure out exactly where is the right piece of information that you want to extract. So I already did quite some uh, searching looking through here, and I found that the piece of information that we need is called data rate. So here we see data rate times amount euro, and the value of that is uh, for, for one unit, uh, for one dollar goes to 0 0.80855 euros. Now you might have a different value for what you see because uh, the, the values of these currencies are changing over time. So it's not a good idea to search through this HTML text for this value because this value is going to change day to day. Instead, what I want to do is search for this value, data rate, and then I want to find some number after that that's going to correspond to, to this actual value. So I'm assuming that this text is going to stay the same and this text is going to differ. So now I want to use the function string find, and I'm going to search through this string, and I'm going to search for this string type. And that gives me this number. This is an index. So now I can type HTML data start place. That's just one character. It's D, which is the same as the data rate. But let's do start place uh, to start place plus, let's say, 20. So now I'm getting 20 characters. And this is all information that is not relevant. This is the start of the information that I need but it's not all of it. So now I've gone plus 40, and now I can see this is more information than I need. So now I just need to figure out what is the right number of characters to search forward in order to extract this information. So it turns out that the right amount of information that I, or the information that I need is between 17 and 23 points after the start place. So I'm going to do start place plus 17 through start place plus 23. And these are exactly the numbers that I need. 
So I'm going to put that in here. Except I'm going to, I want to use this for some mathematical computations. And this, so I want this to be a number. However, this is a string. So I want to convert this information from a string into a number. In a previous video, I used the function str to double or string to double. Here instead, just for some variety to give you some uh, options, I'm going to use a function called scanf. This is going to be the input. This is a string input. And what I want to do is ask MATLAB to extract any information, any numeric information, out of this string. So I'm going to use this percent %g sign. And now that gives me this variable us to euro, which is a number, it's a double. So it's floating precision number, and uh, that's the number that I want. So then I'm going to use fprintf here to print out into the command window the value of uh, this number of US dollars, which is going to be this. So I can write uh, num, so it's the number of currency. So this is a placeholder. This is the, the string that gets written out. These are placeholders for information. So the first placeholder is going to be this number. And what do we want to fill in this number with? Well, this is however many US dollars, or however many euros are in 50 US dollars. So the formula is fairly simple. It's num currency times the conversion rate. So US to euro. So let's try printing this. And uh, oops, I need to set numcur. So we get that the answer is $50 equals a little over 40 euros. You'll notice that it didn't give me the MATLAB prompt in the next line. We need to explicitly specify that there should be a next line character, and that's the slash n here. So now I can run it again, and now I get back to the next line. In fact, it's the next line plus a space because there's a space after this next line character. But I don't want to have a next line character just yet. I don't want to have a line break just yet, because I also want to complete the bonus exercise, which is here. So now the, for the bonus, I want to convert from euros into dollars. So 50 euros is how many US dollars? So that's not the same as this formula, because this formula just goes from US dollars to euros. So you need to figure out what's the right way to manipulate this formula in order to convert from euros to dollars. So first of all, I can write numcur. And it turns out that this is not uh, such a difficult problem. Basically, you just need to invert this uh, number. So it's numcur times 1 over US to euro. And you could have also just written this as numcur divided by US to euro but sometimes it's better to write expressions out in more depth so that they are more interpretable to humans, not just to computers. So now I can run this entire cell, and I can see that uh, 50 US dollars is 40 euros, and 50 euros is around 62 dollars. Just a final note, this function URL read is not able to import any information from any given website. Some websites have particular security features on them that don't allow external remote access from something like URL read. An example of this is if you were to go to my uh, homepage on Udemy, there is information there. You can go on the website, you can go on a browser and find some information about me and about my courses and teaching philosophy and so on. However, if you try to uh, use URL read to get it, to download this HTML information, you'll find that uh, there's something, some error message about proxy settings being improperly configured. In some cases, you can get around these security issues by using a system URL read like curl on Linux, or you can, of course, just go to your browser and download the HTML data. So I hope you found this useful. This is a nice way to read data off of a website directly into MATLAB.